गुड डे स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मोनिका खेतरपाल आई एम एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ फिजिक्स इन गवर्नमेंट डूंगर कॉलेज बीकानेर आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ एम एस सी फाइनल फिजिक्स इन दिस आई एम डीलिंग विद द फिफ्थ पेपर दैट इज सॉलिड स्टेट फिजिक्स नाउ इन आवर टू डे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस मैगनॉन्स दैट इज स्पिन वेव्स what are spin waves spin waves are oscillation in the orientation of spin on a lattice now i am clearly showing my spin wave by a diagram here i have shown different atoms in a lattice and the arrow denotes the direction of spin of different atoms here we can see clearly that spin direction changes in a prescribed fashion and this results in a shape which is analogous to a wave and this wave which is formed by the variation in direction of spin is termed as spin waves hence we can say the excitation of a spin system they have a wave like structure and this wave like structure is termed as spin waves and we know that there is a energy associated with the wave similarly the spin wave will also have an energy and the energy of these spin waves is quantized and the unit of quantization is termed as magnons as we are well familiar with the word phonons what are phonons phonons are quanta of sound waves that means the phonons are lattice vibration and these lattice vibrations are oscillation in the position of atoms on a lattice now we will derive the dispersion relation for these magnons in order to derive the dispersion relation i am taking the rate of change of angular momentum this is in accordance with the newton's second law of motion which states that f equal to dp by dt that means force is equal to rate of change of linear momentum here what we are doing we are taking angular momentum and angular momentum is h cross sp here what does sp means <coughs> we are taking a spin at a site which is denoted by small p letter and the rate of change of angular momentum can be expressed as torque and the torque will be equal to mu p into h p here mu p is the magnetic moment and it is equal to minus g mu b s p g is the linde g factor mu b bohr magneton <coughs> and sp denotes the spin at the p site and what is hp hp is the magnetic field which acts on a spin <coughs> so i am only considering the nearest <coughs> neighboring interaction that means i am considering that my spin at p site which is denoted by sp it interacts with the spin sp minus 1 and sp plus 1 and this interaction is heisenberg exchange interaction and we know that the exchange energy in this condition will be minus 2j si dot sj j is the exchange integral now 
I am rewriting this expression in terms of the spins <coughs> sp and sp plus 1 and sp minus 1. That means minus 2j interaction of sp with sp plus 1. This is the first term and the second term denotes the interaction of sp with sp minus 1. But energy can also be expressed as gsp mu b hp. From here, I am finding the value of hp. hp is the effective magnetic field that acts on the spin. Finding the hp and substituting the value of u which I have already determined. I get my expression of HP to be minus 2J upon G mu B SP plus 1 plus SP minus 1. And I am using this value of HP <coughs> in the expression of rate of change of angular momentum. And here I have put it the value of mu P to be equal to minus G mu B sp. Now, I have to solve this expression. In order to solve this differential equation, I am determining the value of Cartesian coordinates separately. So, in order to find out the components, I am first of all finding the value of cross product of two spins. Here, I am showing the cross product of spin sp and sp minus 1. Now, I am finding the x component of expression. That means I have determined dspx upon dt. Constant factor is 2j upon h cross and the x component comes out to be from here spy multiplied by sp minus 1z minus spz, sp minus 1, y. This is the component of when sp interacts with sp minus 1. Similarly can be obtained for the first term sp cross sp1. Similarly, I have written the y and z components. Now, in order to solve this expression, I am assuming that my spin is along z direction. That means I am taking spz to be equal to s. So, spx and spy, they will be very much small than total spin s. Hence, we can neglect their product. So, my linear expressions on substituting, they comes out to be dspx upon dt to be equal to 2js upon h cross multiplied by 2spy minus sp minus 1y minus sp plus 1y. Similarly, the expression for dspy upon dt. This is my third expression dspz upon dt equal to 0. Now, these are linear expressions and the linear expressions have a traveling wave solution. I am assuming the traveling wave solution of these expressions to be let the solution of this expression is spx and let it be equal to u exponential iota pka minus omega t and the solution of other expression spy to be equal to v exponential iota pka minus omega t. Here u v are constants and p is integer. Now I have to find the I am substituting spx and spy in my linear expressions. Substituting spx and spy 
and on solving them this is the expression which i have solved by using the expression of dspx upon dt and solving i get iota omega u equal to 4js upon h cross 1 minus cos k a multiplied by v and similarly from dspy upon dt i will get minus omega v to be equal to minus 4js upon h cross 1 minus cos k a multiplied by u now in order to solve these expression i am finding the solution by forming a determinant <coughs> this is my determinant here i have written the determinant of coefficient of u and this is the coefficient of v obtained by equation 7 similarly the coefficient of u and v obtained by equation 8 and on cross multiplying i get my solution of equation to be h cross omega equal to 4js 1 minus cos k this is the dispersion relation for spin waves dispersion relation means the relation between omega and k here we can see that when wavelength is long that means when wave vector is small that means k a to be very much less then i can approximate 1 minus cos k a as 1 minus 1 plus k square a square by 2 so substituting in spite of 1 minus cos k a k square a square upon 2 i get my relation h cross omega to be 2 j s a square k square that means magnon frequency is proportional to k square the dispersion relation the plot between omega versus k is shown in this graph so this is my dispersion relation for magnons h cross omega to be equal to 4 j s 1 minus cos k a so here we have shown what are spin waves spin waves they are simply the oscillations in the relative orientation of spin on a lattice and the energy of these spin waves is quantized and the unit of quantization of the spin waves is a magnon. Thank you students.